Hello, I'm Julia. Welcome back to the garage. I'm on day five of the chicken house. It's roofing day. I'm lifting it down off the top of the table there. It's going to be heavy, but we can do it. It'll be fine. It's not going to be as bad as when we have to move it up the garden. It's fine. There is a reason that I have large strapping sons. They can help us to move it. Between the four of us, we'll get it done. Uh, oh, yeah, so let's get on with, I've got a little bit of painting left to do, but not very much. I'm not going to really bother showing you that, obviously, because it's boring watching somebody paint. It's like, duh, oh, she's painting. <laughs> so I'll get on with that, and then I've got to put two long slats of wood. I've already attached one, as you'll see. Got to attach the other one and then cut the sheet of OSB for the roof, get it bitumined and get the roofing felt on it and then it'll be finished. Oh, a door thing, hooks and stuff to hold the front door open and I think I know what I'm doing with that. Yeah. Shall we get on with it?
Oof. That was heavy. Well, it's down. It's done. I've got it up off the ground on a couple of blocks. Just because it gets quite damp on the floor in this, green, in, the, in this garage sometimes. We've not sorted that out yet. But we're getting there. We'll get there into it. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you. So, last day tomorrow and then I can start thinking about getting this whole kit and caboodle up to the chicken house. Probably on Tuesday. Up to chicken run. Hopefully on Tuesday. Depends if that paint that I've just put on is dry. I'm not so much worried about the paint that's underneath the eaves, but I am worried about the paint that's on the inside of the pop-up door. We'll see. We'll see how we go tomorrow. It'd be quite cool to get it outside though, you know, on Tuesday, because I've got a Mm. I'm going to have to just see how it goes. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying this little series. I know it's like not gardening, but it's one of those things that goes with having a garden and animals, and but chickens in particular, obviously. You need to look after them, which means a weatherproof house that's spacious and airy enough. I know what I want to say. The triangle bit that you saw me putting in and painting, that was going to be chicken wire. But I've realised that underneath the eaves, where the wall meets the eaves, there's a good inch gap under there. So there's front and back. So there's plenty of ventilation. They don't need, they don't need any more holes in it. It'll be fine. So that's going to be their ventilation. And the sides have been able to remain solid and that'll be a little bit more weatherproof for them. A midge. A midge on the 22nd of November. Get it all up, Cal. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. I hope I'll see you next time when you will see the roofing felt go on and the strips of baton that I have made for around the outside edge. I just ripped them on the table, so it's just pallet wood. I call the other wood that I've ripped. Rip sword. I paint it all up green so it matches the rest of the chicken shed. Chicken ears. I suppose I should do that now, but I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me do that. In fact, no, I'm going to go in. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I've been in here for hours now. It's time for a brew. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. I hope I will see you again next time. See you for now. Bye.